waking up this morning, we all felt a bit downhearted because looking out the window, we could see that it was just fog and mist in the mountains and on the glacier. We couldn't see anything. So we waited patiently, had some breakfast and then ventured out into the mist. And as luck would have it, and as, as is often the case with photography, things change all the time. And right now, things are looking up and we can see the mountains. Now it's not gonna last, it's gonna, the clouds are gonna come and it's gonna go. But when it goes, those brief windows of opportunity, those are what we need to capture. And those are gonna give us those magical moments full of mood and atmosphere and drama. So we're just walking to a good point where we can get an unobstructed view of the glacier probably 500 yards from the hut and it's just gorgeous absolutely stunning i'd like to thank squarespace for sponsoring my channel and this video if you need a website consider using squarespace.com forward slash heaton right we need a crack on because this this is gorgeous So would you believe it, it started snowing, which I am super happy about because, well, snow for me is a novelty, it doesn't snow in the UK. Um, and this is gorgeous. We're, we're still getting tons of atmosphere and the mountain is showing itself every few minutes and it's just waiting for the opportune moment to really grab that shot, but oh, it's like Christmas morning. This is really nice, really nice. Oh, okay, so it looks like our waiting has paid off. The, the sky behind us, the, 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 shaft, the bits of blue sky, bits of light coming through. We can now see the mountain. I'm gonna get the shot now. We have to get the shot now because it can go so fast. And obviously we're gonna stay a bit longer and take more shots, but I'm just gonna show you guys this one. Um, great mood, great drama, great atmosphere, lovely setting of the glacier, which you can't see because it's, it's too bright. Let me see if I can just turn you down the thing to say right there we go we're a bit bit darker now so you can see the mountain behind us no you can't you can't see the mountain i'll, I'll do some b-roll and show you but it the lights come in we can see the mountain there's atmosphere there's detail in the sky i'm just shooting f10 no filters because the filters don't make any difference in these white conditions f10 one hundredth of a second I'm shooting this at about 24 mil on a 1.6 APS-C crop sensor. So here we go. I'm going to get this shot now while we can. And it's gorgeous. It is. It's just mood. It's atmosphere. It's the mountains. It's exactly what it is. You know, cloud, snow and bad weather can be just as good as clear skies and pink light. Absolutely gorgeous. So that was really cool. We've had a great morning. We've endured a snowstorm um, and we've had some, some fleeting moments of light. And I think the, the best thing about this morning is that we got up early, it was miserable, it was cloudy. We still persevered and went to our location. Then the snow came and everyone just huddled together, covered their camera gear in hats and gloves and all sorts to protect it from the snow. But we knew there was a chance that the weather would lift just for a brief moment and it did. 
and we got some images, we got some nice atmospheric images, we got to view the glacier in the mountain. And it just goes to show that with landscape photography, patience is key and I was so glad that, that we all got to experience that this morning. Okay, so we didn't get awesome direct light, but we did get something, we got the mood, we got the atmosphere, we, we got, you know, we got to see a scene improve and open up and expose itself. And that is a valuable lesson in landscape photography. But just sat there with these guys, just here, in the snow, peace and quiet, in the mountains. It's, that's what it's all about. It's not just the images. It's the experience and everything that comes with it. And yesterday, getting up here was hard work. We were all knackered. <sighs> but there's no other way here. And you can't shoot this unless you put in the hard work. Anyway, we're heading back to the hut now. We're gonna pack up and we have a long day. The longest day is today. About 14K and a good steep climb. But I'm really looking forward to it. So, I think we better crack on. You're in the Alps and you think mountains, glaciers, let me tell you, no. We have some amazing colors here and we said we weren't gonna stop because we're on our way to our destination for lunch. But if we said <laughs> the exact, my exact words were, if we see some isolated trees with autumn colors and side light hitting those trees with mountains in the background, then we're gonna shoot it. And lo and behold, we have walked past this gorgeous scene. It's just, we've got some lovely side light coming in from, from, from the side, obviously. And it's just catching these trees. We've got mountains in the background. I'm polarizing the scene. I've got a soft grad on because the mountains in the background are quite bright. F7.1, because this is all new gear and I don't know what, you know, I don't know the sharpest point of this lens, but I do know there's no foreground interest. Therefore, it doesn't matter so long as I focus on these trees, which is the main subject, then that's all we need. This is just absolutely stunning. Everyone's here getting shots. Edgar's lying down, that's how good it is. It's just, it's just awesome. Absolutely stunning. I'm gonna take this shot now. F7.1, two second timer, polarizer, two stop soft grad. Magic. So I'm really happy with that shot. I mean, obviously it was a nice image. It was, it was a lovely image, but it was the circumstances around the image that I'm really happy with. So what you guys didn't see is that about 15 minutes before we shot that tree, we saw the tree from the complete opposite angle with no light, no composition or anything. But we all saw the tree and we said, that tree would be awesome. Look at the colors. We just, you know, if there was a nice composition, a background that you could separate the tree from, a little bit of side light. And we all thought, yeah, one day maybe we'll come back. And as we walked along the path and around the tree, the composition just started to fall into place. And we all started getting so excited. And then out of nowhere, because I mean, it wasn't sunny. There was a lot, a lot of gray skies. Out of nowhere, the light just hit the tree and we were on it and we were ready. We already knew our composition because we saw it, we explored it and then we framed up in the hope that we would get some light. We had no idea if there would be any light on that tree, but it was worth, you know, it's worth 20 minutes, half an hour waiting. Upstream, 
And when the light came, everyone was nailing it. Everyone's happy. And now everyone's just like ecstatic because we were, you know, we were in a white out this morning, heavy snow, lots of fog and cloud. And it was, you know, it's atmospheric, but to come down and shoot something like this for me is so special because I love this kind of photography. Anyway, it's now time for lunch. So we need to eat. We found home to these walls. We like what we saw. Seems so strong until it falls. The fire must fall. stopped at the most breathtaking stop. <laughs> it's just, just the perfect place to rest, recuperate, and just take a few minutes and remember where we are and what we're doing. Because this is absolutely stunning. And there is a chance, there is a chance that we may go swimming in here, but I make no promises. But I can tell you what we are going to do, and that is shoot Veronica as she runs across the opposite side of the lake, reflected perfectly in the water with the mountains beautifully lit in the background. And this is going to be like a dream photograph for those sports action photographers and the like. So, super happy about this. It doesn't get any better than this, it really doesn't. So we're now we're on the final descent of the day, the final descent of the trip. <laughs> it's, the, it's the hottest, hardest, most arduous part of the entire trip. And it's, you know, you think hiking in the Alps is glamorous and that it's all fun and games and amazing views. Don't get me wrong, it is. But you do have your low points. Every one of us has suffered at some point, including me. And I'm suffering now. It was, it was a lovely respite at the lake, taking those wonderful photographs. But now as we push six, 700 meters of ascent over just a few K up to our final, final cabin, it's hard. And you don't even look at the views, you just look at your feet and it's hot and it's a struggle. But here's the thing, I know what's waiting at the top and it is totally worth it. And the important thing is to make sure these guys can visualize what's there as well, because it is breathtaking. And there's no other way of getting there. So I'm gonna push on now to this final point, and then we can all rest easy and enjoy the gorgeous views that are on offer. All right, come on, last push, last push. So we've made it, we've all made it to our final destination. It's been a real hard slog today. It's our third day, we're all tired, we're all aching, we're all feeling it, and this is, this is one of the furthest hikes and one of the highest. But it offers the best views of the Alps, panoramic 360 degree views of these awesome mountains. And it was hard, I know for a fact it's one of the hardest things I've ever had to do and these guys are exactly the same, but through the really hard times, 
And when you push past that, you get the reward, you get the elation and the satisfaction that you've achieved something that many, many people have not achieved. And the rewards, in the, even just arriving as a reward in itself, but the views and the photography and the adventure along the way that we've had has been phenomenal. So I'm gonna call it, I'm gonna call this one today because we're gonna go in and we're gonna have dinner. So I really want to thank you for watching. And I like to thank Squarespace as well for sponsoring this channel. Again, it's a massive help. So if you need a website and you can't code, go to squarespace.com forward slash Heaton and just give it a free try. And if you like a free trial and you want to spend some cash, use the offer code Heaton for 10% off your first purchase. But seriously, this has been an epic and it's not over yet. So tune in next time. All right. Bye for now.